Don't be this guy. Hey, that's me, you jerk. Uh-oh. What's up, backpackers? I'm Dan, and welcome to Backpacking Adventures. On this channel, we talk about everything backpacking, hiking, and gear, you name it. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, but make sure you hit that bell notification so you don't miss a thing. Today, I'm gonna to talk about five mistakes that beginner backpackers make and how to avoid them. All right, so this was me about 15 years ago. And look how happy I am. I'm smiling. I got all my heavy gear on my back, ready to do my trip. Now look at this picture. This picture is after I got to camp. Look how miserable I am. And in this picture, I was so tired, I even wore socks with sandals. You just don't do that. My backpack weighed about 50 pounds. I had all kinds of things in there. I had pairs of jeans. I had multiple packs of clothes just for an overnight trip. Now, the reason that I was so tired was my pack was so heavy. It was needlessly heavy. It didn't have to be. So I'm gonna try to help you to make sure that your first trip is more comfortable and then you'll wanna continue to do backpacking. All right, so if you're new to backpacking, Trying to figure out what you need can get a little overwhelming and be a little bit daunting. You don't know what you need, you don't know what gear you need, and you probably don't even know where to go. All right, so let's get into the tips. The first thing you wanna do is do your research. Research, research, research. And if you're watching this video, obviously, you've already started that. You're gonna to wanna to do research on what gear you're gonna need. And once you figure out what gear you need, you need to look in your house, in your garage, and see if you already have some of that gear. You may already have a throw blanket you could use. You may already have a metal mug that you can use as a cook pot. The one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna watch a YouTube channel of a backpacker going on a trip and copying exactly the gear that they have. You wanna choose the gear that's gonna work for you. As far as where to go, well, do some research on trails that are in your area close to your home. You'll be more comfortable, and if anything happens, you can just quickly get home. Now, gear isn't everything. You also want to do your research on how to backpack, how to cook, how to filter water, choosing your campsite, setting up your tent, the whole nine yards. You're also going to want to research basic map and compass skills. You always want to have a compass and a paper map with you because if you get lost and say your cell phone battery dies and you were using it as GPS, well, that map and compass is going to help you get out. So it's not difficult to learn and take the time and just learn it. If anything, it's gonna give you more confidence. Also, watch trip videos of backpackers and their trips. You can always pick up some skills just by watching what they're doing. All right, so the second thing is don't spend a lot of money. You're new to backpacking, you're just getting started, and the one thing you don't wanna do is you don't wanna spend a fortune to basically live like a homeless person and then realize it's not for you. Then you wasted all that money. Like I said earlier, try to see if you already have things that you can use. A lot of people already have sleeping bags or they may even have a tent or a sleeping pad. Try to use what you already have. And even another example is eating utensils. You have, I'm sure you have spoons and forks in your drawer in your kitchen. You could even use that. Borrow gear from a friend. That way, if you don't like backpacking, you didn't spend anything. I just put out a budget video on a lightweight loadout 12 pounds, it's under $450. Now again, that's everything you would need and you probably already have some of those things. So you won't need to buy everything. But my point is, try not to spend a lot of money until you make sure that you know it's something you wanna do. And then, by all means, go out and buy that good gear. The third thing, and one of the ones that I feel is most important, is always test and know your gear. Always test out your gear, set up your tent in your yard, learn how to set it up, tear it down, learn how to use your water filter, learn how to use your stove, because the last thing you want to have happen is you're out in the back country and, oh wow, I don't know how to set up my tent, and then it starts raining. That would be very bad. So just test your gear out. It's not difficult to do and it's not time consuming. Just make sure you know how to use your gear. The fourth thing, is you don't want to worry too much about the weight of the gear. Very light gear is expensive. However, you can buy light gear on a budget. Now, you don't want to go out and buy the heaviest backpack or the heaviest tent. Just try to do some research on lighter gear that is within your budget because it will make your trip a whole lot more comfortable. Believe me. So earlier I mentioned about how I had a 50 pound backpack. That just made it very difficult to hike. It was only seven miles was my first trip. And I got to camp, I was so tired, 
so sore. I didn't even think I was going to be able to get back. And since then, I've been doing research and finding lighter gear. And now my gear is at a point where I'm very comfortable hiking longer distances. Now, the one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to trade safety for weight. Don't leave your first aid kit at home just because it weighs a couple ounces, it'll lighten your pack. Or don't leave an extra water bottle at home because it's, that's gonna be lighter as well. Do not sacrifice safety for weight. Last thing, and this is one thing that not a lot of backpackers talk about, is your food choices. That was a big mistake I made on my first backpacking trip. I tried to get the lightest food I could. Little packets of Lipton soup. And let me tell you, the one thing that I was not thinking about at the time was calorie content. You're gonna be out there hiking for miles, probably hiking all day. You're gonna want adequate fuel. It's like an engine when you're hiking. You need to get adequate fuel to keep going, mainly to help repair yourself at night so when the next day when you wake up, your legs are not sore and you're wondering, how am I going to hike out when I can barely walk? So make sure you choose your food wisely. And also, you don't need to go out and buy all these fancy meals from Mountain House or Packet Gourmet. You can just buy things that are dehydrated, like Northside's. I love them. They're high in calories, they're light, they're dehydrated. All you gotta do is add water. You can pack out wraps and peanut butter and all kinds of things, just be creative. Or if you really want to, you can just go buy those Mountain House meals. But they're about eight or nine dollars a pop, so it's pretty expensive. And when I made that mistake of not getting high caloric foods, I, I'm telling you, I felt it. It was very difficult to hike that next day. It was hard. Well, I hope this video helps you out and helps you to avoid those same mistakes I have. It'll just make your trips better. And the only way you're gonna get good at backpacking is if you get out there and do it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. As always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.